An Akali, planet of festivities. Oh. A cradle drowning in dreams. A nice instrument, bro. Oh, it's that one guy. The family what was his name? I don't remember. For its the, the guy that's the yeah. on fire and literally hot. The golden blood will Same. flow from Same. destruction. <laughs> well, that's not good. Oh, that, that looks questionable at best. That's quite worrying, actually. Because I lit a fire in your eyes and showed you music of the strings. Uh-huh. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Father, you have kids? Do run. I set your form alight and taught you mastery of the um, blade. Um, Temper it with sulfur, made the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, father. Uh-huh. Katerina, I kindled cool name. a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. <laughs> and Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There uh -huh. is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. <laughs> Those shoes look painful. Necessary. I can take them alone. Okay, she's fun. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. Yikes. What if we all end up dead? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> people like her, I can tell. Who's that? Who's that? Guy? Dude! Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Mmm. Still, oh. it is wise to plan ahead. Oh, she's the one with the apple with the spine in it. Whoa! <laughs> what is our fallback if things become perilous? I was gonna say, oh. Back. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Pinnacone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. Who's the new master? Ifrit, Duke Inferno, Everflame Mansion. That's right, Duke Infernum. Inferno? Fern For, Fernal? We didn't have subtitles going. On. Yeah, I, I realized after we started halfway, I was like, we should have put subtitles on. That was a lot. That was pretty cool. And was, potentially showed us off our villains of I, this I have, arc? I have no idea. Because I've been having to dodge spoilers for a while. Apparently, the entire script of Penacani has been leaked for a very long time. And I don't know. I guess people are playing the beta because I keep getting things in my YouTube feed that I'm like, I'm just going to ignore that completely. But all our villains look pretty cool. These guys look really yeah. cool. I hope we can maybe play as a few of them. I, I, I you know. uh, dude, especially the the crazy girl with the shoes. She just looks like a fighting ca game character, and I love that. Uh, all those characters, sadly, probably not gonna get. Well, you never know. Star Rail's different and everything. I don't think we're gonna Star get the Rail's small girl different. Reaper thing. That probably is a boss, most likely. <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe, like, maybe, there's maybe there's a chance she's playable somehow. It's a, a turn-based game. Yeah, maybe. maybe. It's like. I'm over Maybe here only in combat we see the big scythe thing. I'm just I'm over here hoping we get the cat as a playable character from uh the Star Hunter teams, the Stellaron Stella Hunters. Run I st Hunter? just don't kill me. Stellaron Hunters. I'm hoping for that. So, one day if I'm hoping for a cat, I'm not going to I'm not going to turn down a giant ghost scythe thing. Yeah, no. So, uh yeah, no, they all look great. They look Duke great. and Fernum. I kind of want the guy well. with the instrument. I want him to be playable. That's a cello, right? I think. Don't ask me these things. I don't so know. Long. I don't know. You took band. You have no excuse. I said it was a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this looks great. Uh, Pentaconi is getting the hype is building. I think Pentaconi comes in the next 
if the next patch is Pentaconi, it's 20 days away, something like that, <laughs> which is exciting. <laughs> Thank goodness that there's uh, nothing in the foreseeable. Oh, oh wait, it's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we got a Genshin livestream dropping tomorrow, showing us the next patch, which I don't know what to expect. The final patch of Fontaine, most oh, likely. No, I know what to expect. Well, it's going to be the New Year's event. I know exactly what to expect. Oh, wait, oh, you're right. I wasn't even thinking about that. No, it's going to be, it's, yeah. We're going back to Leeway, most likely, because Cloud Retainer is going to be playable. That's right. And then after that update, will it be the last update of Fontaine? Or do you think? No, no, no. Fontaine has update? probably, uh, we, uh, the Fontaine expansion probably has three to four more patches still. Got gotcha. you. Even though we kind of have the entirety of Fontaine unlocked at the moment. Other uh, than like, I think like maybe a place. We'll get like one or two more areas, most likely. Yeah, I would agree. But uh, Pentaconi, looking cool. I can't That's wait. It's going to be so This cool. is Star Rail's hype and everything up. I, so many cool characters exist on this planet. Help. I think Star Rail is going to be very... Uh, okay, the next year of Star Rail is going to be the exact same for us that it was last year. By that, I mean we're going to be just probably pulling for everyone and seeing who we can get. I'm just happy that I called it on Star Rail's marketing strategy. Of making a bunch of fun characters? It's just all awesome. And you just flip. <laughs> and you're never going to have a chance to breathe? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I get that. You know, I was really thinking that when they when they when the game came out and was super generous and like every update they gave out ten pulls. I'm like, wow, that's so nice. They're gonna swarm us with amazing content, aren't yes. they? Yes, yes, they are. Oh, good to know. I was right. That's good. And I'm I'm excited to see where the meta will go. And not in the sense of being I don't say that in the way of being like a meta slave, but I see that in the terms of I really want to see where they take the characters. I already and, feel like we have some top tier teams going. Yeah, we have a lot of characters that are pretty. Uh, they're kind of, uh, they're, they're not going to drop in how good they are. They're not going to fall behind someone else unless they make a character just like them, but better, which they have not done yet. yet. That'll Eventually probably, they will. Cause man, they have filled out a lot of niches. Like, unless you're talking about DPS, lot. then there's, yes, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of power creep with DPS, but, but there are a lot of unique DPS in different play styles. That's a good point. Like there is ton of different ways to play this game and a ton of different teams that all work super differently and they've <laughs> it's actually crazy how many different kinds of DPS exist okay. in this game can we on that topic can we just talk about it? I don't think I, there's a lot of people uh, toying around with Dr. Ray's show he came out two nights ago I think uh, but like the team that I like the most personally, and it's probably the team that I want to build for our, our side account that we've been capturing cutscenes for and everything for the game. The thing is, I really like the team where you throw Topaz and Dr. Ratio on because apparently the Topaz pig target counts as a debuff and they both trigger each other. So if the chalk hits, the pig can trigger. And if the pig hits, I think the chalk can trigger. So I just love that that team, the whole point of that team is just to throw pigs and chalk at the enemy as fast as possible. And that idea and concept is just freaking hilarious to me. It's a machine gun. It is, but of pigs and chalk. Alternating rounds. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I think it's uh, Ting Yoon, Topaz, Dr. Ratio, and a healer or tank. Insert here. Japard, Fu, uh, I always forget his name, but the life leech guy. Oh, Lacha. Lacha or Hua A lot of people are also running Dr. Ratio, though, with Silverwolf because she makes uh, anything be 100% like hit rate with his. Well, she also does debuffs yep. on both her ability and her basic attacks. So d basically, you're always hitting with chalk. You're, you're always stacking it up. So, yeah. So it depends what you're going for. That team just seems really fun. So I want to get Topaz eventually on the side account because that just sounds hilarious to me. But at the same time, Topaz will probably come back with other cool characters. So Oops. who even knows at this point? It's never going to end. So in all honesty, probably the safe bet with the new characters is definitely go for like the healer ones, the harmony characters and the preservation Have characters. Have seen the character coming in the next patch? Uh, yes, I have seen the, yeah, the, the girl that I didn't yeah. think we were going to be getting for a long You're time. You're talking about Black Swan, right? Yeah, the card girl. Yes, Black Swan. <laughs> Oops, she's coming sooner than I thought she was. I thought she was going to be our Dainsleaf of Genshin, but no. Nope. Apparently not. Nope. No, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hyped. I'm so excited for the next patch. I'm very excited, but at the same time, 
something is about going to happen in Star Rail. Uh, because, Pente- yeah, Pentagon probably is going to have a lot of stuff going on. Because at the moment, we actually have access to a lot of really important people in the world of Star Rail. Like a lot of really important So you're heads. expecting some traumatic thing to happen. Like I'm likely. expecting something to go down because we can't, we have access to literally all but one, well, two members because the cat is one and then Sam is. Oh, you're, you're one. talking about the cell run hunters. Yeah. We have access to literally like pretty most of them. Pretty sure Sam will be probably will come. Uh, in co- he'll probably style. come in Pentaconi sometime. Yeah. Which he's going to be awesome. He's going to be awesome. And then I, after that, yeah. then there's just the cat, which I assume is the future seeing guy. Oh, Elio? Elio. I'm yeah. assuming Elio's the cat. Or using the cat to broadcast things. Something. <laughs> Somehow. I would well, love it if that I, works. Dude, I would love it if the cat was just Elio. I'm hoping for that. I'm, well, I'm assuming the world it's of not. Psychic squids vibing on a metal snowing planet, enjoying a nice hot cup of cocoa and TV. Why can't a cat not be a playable character? Speaking of, the cat center just ran by. And she she's did. got zoomies. So hype. Always. So uh, I, I guess with that. Do you got anything else you want to throw in here? It's Pentacon, dude. I'm so excited. You I'm, know how cool all the characters there look? Everyone looks cool. Everyone looks cool. You know how hard that is? Uh, like oh. I said, just prioritize tanks and healers, and then everything after that, uh, pick who you like. We have, uh, I literally said her name a bit ago. Get, get, I feel like the- We have uh, the small tank. I feel like how you prioritize. Oh, Fushuan. <laughs> Fu, that's it. The, the thing about characters in Star Rail, pull for characters that not only you like, but it's weird that I can say this, but pull for characters, especially with play styles that you think you will gravitate towards, because some characters will enable certain teams. And Cat just ran that way. Um, <laughs> Hi, good girl. So um, yeah, go for characters that you think are like, oh, I really like that play style. This enables that play style. I think I'll pull them for future because if more characters come out that are like that, I really want to do teams like that. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Cinder, be careful. She almost took out your mic. She almost did. <laughs> okay, so I guess with that, before the cat runs into something, we're going to head out, guys. We love you all. Thank you for joining us. It has been awesome rocking out with you all again. Uh, tell us your thoughts on all these characters and what you expect out of Pentaconi. I'm sure some of you probably already know the plot of Pentaconi because uh, when we talked about this the <laughs> other day, a lot of you guys let us know that instantly, apparently the script's been out for months, which surprises me. Was there a leak? I guess. Because apparently a lot of people know exactly what's going to happen in the next part of the story, and they've known that for a long time. I'm going to... you going to go check. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we love you all. And we will. I'll see you in the next one. Ow, bye. Bye.